What's up guys, MJGB here, bringing you the next installment of the Gun Game Chronicles series, the series where I play through a game of Team Deathmatch using each of the weapons from the Gun Game Wager Match mode. Today it's the RPG's turn, and it's a complete pain in the arse. Not only because you only get two rockets, not only because you cannot replenish ammo with scavenger, and not only because they're not easy to quickly manoeuvre and use, even on 10 sensitivity, but because the other team had bloody flak jacket on. So, that's not cool. But, I do go positive, which for a weapon which requires you to die every two shots, is fairly impressive. Now, if you came from the Respawn Army, hello! If not, go check out the Respawn Army. Ironically, it's a Facebook application that allows you to submit your videos and interact with other Machinima fans and director wannabes, and just generally engage in video game banter. So, go check it out and find me on there, I'm MJGB, as you would expect. Anyway guys, I wanted to today offer my thoughts on Google+, Plus, which is Google's little adventure into the world of social networking, which you should definitely have heard of if you're into, you know, your whole tech news and stuff. And as long as we forget the horrors that were Wave, Google Buzz, and, you know, Google Null and all them, then this is quite a nice offering from Google. So, I've been using it for a little while, it feels quite like Facebook, but without the underlying hatred that I have for it. So as you know, I'm not a fan of Facebook, I'm hoping for a more Matthew-friendly social networking site to come along, and despite not classing itself as a social networking site, Google Plus is kind of what I'm looking for. The first thing you notice about Google Plus, it looks like Facebook, so regardless of anybody's own personal opinion on Facebook, because I know I hate it, but I like Facebook's clean, sleek, you know, design. I mean, MySpace allowed you to really customize the appearance. You could really make your profile stand out. I didn't like that. I like to have a consistent theme that everybody shares, which means we know where everything is. We know where to find it. And you basically, instead of having the actual layout different to personalize it, you personalize it with your own content. So Google Plus has gone for the same similar look, which offers familiarity, you know, for the people who are coming over from Facebook. So the less... They don't feel as daunted by the prospect of trying to learn a new social networking site. It basically, it caters for those who aren't into change. So the people who don't like Facebook, when it mixes it up, they'll probably like Google Plus when they make the transition, if they make the transition, because it won't be a new learning curve. And Facebook's unfortunately now full of shit, as we know. It's loads of, you know, junk apps. And there are good ones, there's good, like, like pages and stuff that do good. But there's a lot of crap on there, so Google's gone for a much more clutter-free version of Facebook, pretty much. So again, trying to appeal to the Facebook addicts, Google Plus offers its plus one button, which is the same as a Facebook like button. So if somebody posts something that catches your eye, if content on the internet that you've just read is worthy of sharing, or even in Google search, you can now see next to like the website and search results, there's a plus one button. So like the Facebook like button, it'll show to other people who have access to your like profile and stuff. It'll show that you approve it, like it, and encourage people to check it out. And on your Google Plus profile, there's a plus one page which shows all the things you like. So you know if somebody misses it in the stream or something like that. Because I don't think it actually shows up in the stream, which is a bonus. I guess it's a bit of a double like edged sword. So sometimes if people like things, it's interesting because it'll say like, person X likes and then it'll have a link to an article and I'll read it and I'll enjoy it. But then likewise, it might be like um, scummy person X likes boyfriends love their girlfriends and you know, stupid stuff like that. So I guess it's good that they're removing some of the clutter stuff like that. But it also means you're less likely to be able to see people offering, you know, like interesting stuff they've read. You can obviously click on their page and go on plus one. But it's a bit of a time consuming thing. It's easier if it's just all in the stream. So that's something that Google Plus will need to work on. But Google Plus's main Facebook killing feature is its circles. So like Facebook lists, Google Circles lets you put your family and put your friends into little groups determining who they are. Because unlike Facebook, Google Circles realises that you don't want to lump everybody together. I don't want to share the same content with my uncle as my girlfriend. I don't consider them both friends, whereas on Facebook they are both friends. So, whereas you can with Facebook lists, you know, organize your friends into groups, it's a lot easier on Google Circles, because each circle is just all a big list of circles, it has all your friends just drag drop. So you can easily pick people out, you can put them into different groups, you can change the groups if you want, and 
it just makes sharing a lot easier because if I want to share content with only a particular group, I can do that nice and easy. If I want to share content with a couple of groups, but not all of them, again, I can do that easy. If I want to share content with public as opposed to just people in all of my circles, I can do that easy. If I want to share with just one person, I can do that easy. It just makes things a whole lot easier because on Facebook, you can kind of do the same to some extent, but it's a much more laborious process and Facebook, it just it requires too much clicking. See, Google's gone for a sort of Apple approach where it's very much drag and drop as opposed to the old-fashioned style of click, click, click. And another thing that Google Circles integrates that Facebook lists doesn't. Facebook lists, if you notice, if you go on some people's profiles on Facebook, you'll see that they have their lists public. So there might be a list name like Best Peeps and all the other crap terminology that the lowest standard of human beings use. Whereas on Google, people don't know what circles they are in. So if I wanted to, I could make a circle called douchebags and I could put all the people I don't really care too much about into it. And all they would see is, you are in Matthew's circle, so they don't know how I've classified them. So I don't have to pretend to like like them and add them into a friends list or something that they think, oh, that's cool. I can classify them how I want and quite realistically. So if I don't really like them that much, I can say people I don't know too much, people I don't like too much. I don't have to, you know, try and pretend and try and be nice and lie because that just makes the whole social networking a complete farce if you're lying to people about how you know much you want to interact with them and how much you care for them so you might as well just not have them another thing i like about google plus is it's very similar to twitter people can add me to a circle and receive my content into their stream but i don't have to you know accept their information i don't need to reciprocate which is a good idea because that's one of the reasons why Twitter's so popular. It's not a case of, oh, you have to accept my information, you have to fill your stream with all my random inane chatter before you can, like, let me see yours. It's a case of, it's like a buffet. I can offer people food to eat, they can choose to eat it. Likewise, they can offer me food and I can choose to eat it. I don't have to eat everything, I don't have to eat stuff that I don't want to. I can pick and choose what I want. So, instead of Facebook where it's like, you have to give before you can take. The same applies here. You can just take. You don't need to give. So if you're a very selfish person, you'll love Google+. Plus. But, you know, seriously, it is a much better idea. And it's something that I think we'll see more social networking sites using in the future. Um, Facebook privacy. We've all heard it before. Facebook's privacy concerns have been aired in the mainstream media and in all sorts of media quite a bit. And it's one of the reasons why I think more people will move from Facebook to Google+, Plus because they might see it as a safer choice. The privacy controls are a lot easier to understand. It's not a big, massive list like Facebook. And Google's one of those companies that people will trust, because we all use Google, really. Most people use Google. It's something that's really in the mainstream, because we all know what Googling is. Even if you said to your nan, oh, just Google it, she'll understand what you mean, which is a bit weird, really, because I bet she doesn't do much Googling. So there's many more features at work on the Google Plus beta that I could talk about if I had more time. Notifications, Google Chat, a uh, 10-person video chat. And considering it's a beta, it's only going to improve in the future. There's lots of YouTubers and uh, tech celebs and stuff on Google Plus, and they're all going to be promoting it because they'll be having the content on there. People are going to want to try it out. The fact it's invite only, people are like, oh, I want an invite. So... Google Plus is going to blow up at the minute, so we'll have to see how it's going to be in the future. Facebook has over 600 million users. I'm not going to say that it's going to disappear. It's definitely not. There's always going to be people who want Facebook, just like there's still people who use MySpace, fools. But Google Plus is probably the biggest thing that could come to try and strike Facebook, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes on. So, people, let me know your thoughts on Google Plus in the comment section below. And if you've not tried Google Plus yet, then send me a message on YouTube and I'll try and send an invite out to you. You don't need to subscribe. You don't need to like a favorite. I'm just doing this because I like Google Plus and I want more people to try it. So just check it out. And if you do want to subscribe or like or favorite a video, then please do. Until next time, guys, please do take care.